And everyone always talks about fear being something that we should ignore. We need to be fearless. You see all these inspirational quotes and photos of people jumping off cliffs. And there's this beautiful freedom to being fearless. But the reality is, is that fear doesn't have to be something that's negative. Fear actually helps us understand and learn from our past mistakes. So when you're doing a big project and, oh, I forgot to connect with particular department or check in with a certain client. And I learn, oh no, that was a huge miss. So the next time you're in a similar situation and you're leading another project, you've learned. And yes, you may have that fear that I don't want to do that again. So with that, you can make different and better decisions. So with fear, we want to assess it. We want to learn from it. We don't want to embrace it. We don't want to accept fear as truth. We don't want to embody these little doubts that we've had throughout our lives that are telling us we can't do something. We want to understand what it's trying to tell us, learn from it, and then address it to make sure that we don't have the fear anymore because we're not ignoring it. We're not pretending it's not there. We've actually met it head on and overcome it. When I talk about not embracing fear, we want to make sure that we aren't taking it within ourselves. It's sometimes easier to accept a negative story than to look at what the positive could be. And when we embrace the fear, we start to believe it. We buy into the fact that, oh, maybe I'm not smart enough, or maybe I don't have enough experience. We don't want to look at the fear and that message the fear is sending us as though it's truth but we do want to know what the message is. So then we can assess whether or not it's accurate. And if it is accurate, maybe there is something we want to work on. We can go and address it. So it's about not embodying and taking on that weight of the fear, but examining it without that judgment to say, okay, what is this trying to tell me? So as leaders, it is part of our role to be able to have the confidence in ourselves and the experience, whether we're gaining that experience on the fly or we have it with us from decades of work, that we're able to understand where the fear is coming from. That's something that we develop over time. So even if there is an irrational fear that comes up, we want to have and we can embrace as leaders that, okay, what's the real situation here? So that's really part of our role is to be able to discern what's the rational from the irrational. And that's where we can tap into some of our knowledge and our skills and our personal experiences to really start to understand, okay, is this really going to happen? Is this client really going to walk away from us? Or is that just the worst possible scenario that I've decided to take on? And if it is irrational, then okay, let's move on and move forward without worrying about that client walking away. Or if it is rational, then think about what happens if that client does walk away. So you want to be able to discern and assess, and that's our role as leaders in every situation. 